Hello everybody, it's Linta over here. Hello. Yeah, I know the skin. I know. I want my ears back. Okay. Mm. All right. Until I can get my ears back, here I am. Now what I'm doing? I'm digging a hole. That's right, digging. Now there's a reason for this. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna turn that sound down because that could be a bit too loud for the video. Let's get the sound down here and here. There. I don't want it too loud. There we go. Alright, I am making a little tiny maze, and I mean a little one. I just want to experiment a little bit here. Now, as you know, on the last video of our turtles, we started doing some crazy, crazy designs, and uh, I basically um, challenged the group to make a maze, and we're going to look at making our turtles do some battling in a maze. That's right. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is just do a little tutorial on how we can do that. There we go. So that's kind of like a maze, I guess. There we go. And what I might do, just to um, add a little bit of interest, I'm just going to get some, let's see, um, lapis. Okay. So we might make it that it does something when it finds lapis. Okay, let's pretend that that's a, it finds a battle. Um, bot somewhere. There we go. All right, so let's just do that. Okay, so here we go. Now we need a little droid. There's my little beginner's turtle. Isn't it cute? Let's pop him in here. Boop. All right, now I'm not happy with just that because you know. Let, let's customize him a bit. I want him to look cute. Actually, no, 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 no. There, I like it when he's like that. That's cute as a button pink one yep I said pink oh my gosh what was that that looks scary oh that's cute all right okay pink of them there he is okay so this is gonna be the terror wow terror <laughs> Telfer Turtle, I don't know if that's going to fit. No. The Terra Telfer T. That's good enough for me. That's good enough. Okay, so we're going to have that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make this guy just run around forever. And then when he hits a wall, he's got to turn around until he's no longer hitting a wall. And then he's going to head off. That's the plan. So what I want to do is make it happen forever. So I'm going to go while, true, where's, oh yeah, you can do it this way, yeah. While, true, do, which means do it forever because it's always going to be true. Now this is going to be pretty long, so I'm just going to put an end here. Yeah. Okay, so that should, yep, that's no errors. Very happy with that, people. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little statement here. Now, what I'm going to do first is check to see if there's a block in the way. So let's check that first. So I need an if statement. If. Now notice I've moved it in a bit so you can sort of read it. If you detect a block, then. Let me do it then. Yep, then. Okay, let's see how it wants me to do it there. It's cool. This is a great program. All right. If you find a block, then we really need to turn around, don't we? So I'm going to turn around. One of these buttons makes me turn around. Okay, turn left. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So if we find that, do that. Otherwise, you can go straight ahead, can't you? Boop. So that's pretty much it for now. Let's see if that works. Okay, you notice that there's gonna be more coding. <laughs> I might move that up a bit, just for now. Yeah, yo. All right, so now let's make it work. Now I thought, uh, if we hit the button here. Yep, we're in the view, oh, it stopped. It stopped, why did it stop? Let's have a look at the coding. Okay. What to do if there's something in the way? Move. Else. All right. Well, it did that. Hmm. 
<laughs> Alright. You know what we forgot? What else? Yep. You come here. Yep. Alright, we'll stop it running. That will help. <laughs> you get there. Okay. You're there. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna put a little else in there. Otherwise, do that. Okay, just make it look pretty. There, that goes there. Now it's happy. If do this, else just move forward and keep doing that forever. That should work now. It's, it's pushing me. <laughs> now I'm in the way. I'm obstructed, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Note to self, get your little body out of the way. Wow. <laughs> All right, now we can try that again. Oh, that's funny. All right. Run the program. Okay. So it looks like it's working really well so far. Oh, I need to put another one up there. Wait a minute, I've got a problem. Yeah, can you see the problem? It's not actually going around the other way, so we need to do a bit more work here. Okay, let's stop that running. Yep, there we go. Okay, so what we need to do here is basically add it that when he's turning, he can turn left or right. It's like equal chance. So I'm going to make these go down a little bit more here. Ah, I'll be down there for a minute. Just give myself some more room. I don't know how to grab them all and drag them at the same time, so I'll just do it this way. Okay. So what I want to do here is make it, it's more random. It's either going to go that way or that way. So you've got a chance. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so how are we going to do that? I think the best way is if we put in a variable and we're going to check that variable. Now, let's have a look for variables. Here's a one, X. Okay, let's put an X in. I like X. So we're going to assign a value to that, and that is equals. Okay, now, we want a random. That's an and. <laughs> Which, aha, random number. Okay, I'm going to make this number 20. Here we go, 20, yay. All right, so I've now got a random number, 20. And to test it, I can actually make it say the number, I believe. So I'm just, ah, here, yeah. Say. What do you want to say? You want to say what's your next? Boop. Okay, so it should say on the screen what X is, just to give us an indication what's happening. All right. Um, yeah, that should be good. That should be good. Now let's do it that if X is below um, 10, Turn to the left, otherwise turn to the right. How does that sound? So, I need an if. If, if, if. If, beautiful, x, that's you, come here, is uh, greater than or equal than to, greater than or equal to, what number do we say? 20. Alright. 10. Okay, so bigger than 10, then we go to the left, okay, there you come here, otherwise, also known as else, we go to the right, beautiful, whoops, you, there, alright, <laughs> and we need to put in the end there, okay, so there's that if then else. Okay, so that should be good. I don't see any red blocks. Okay, let's just, just test this out. Alright, we should see numbers written there at 7. So it did turn. It's going for 11, so turn the other way. Oh my gosh, it's working. 8. So it's found a block. Alright, now we haven't programmed it to do anything when it finds a block like that. Okay. 
Okay, so you see the random is definitely working. So it's not going to um, do what a human does. It will go randomly. But that's fine. I'm really happy with that. So if the kids do this program here, we should be able to do a pretty good job. Yeah, it's definitely going to find everything. All right, so that's cool. Now what, what if we find something? Okay. So, let's move this down here. We want to write a little program here that it actually does something. Okay, now what I'm doing here, by the way, is writing it as one long program. You can actually turn it into modules, and I'll probably rewrite this into modules. But right now, I'm kind of happy to have it as one program. It's not that big. All right, so what about if we do a check here? If... Right. Uh, I have no idea how to do this. I'm learning. If, if, if we detect, is that like detect? Oh, how about we compare? If equals, uh, let's see. How do you say 22? Or, hmm, this is new. What's that item name? Oh, oh, that might be it. If equals yeah. Yeah. diamond, no, we want it to be um, lapis. Lapis. Oh, it's an item, not a block. That must be the block name. Ha ha! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I got it wrong. Keep that for a minute. You're going. <laughs> All right, so block name, there we go. Now we're talking. Lapis. Lazuli block. Okay. Then. Yeah, it doesn't like it. it doesn't like the compare. All right. What I'll do there is I'll, I will learn how to do that myself. <laughs> okay, I will play with that and work that a bit out. That's going to be really cool. So, um, basically, what I'll do is if it detects a oh, inspect block. Hmm. All right, I'll play with this, um, and we will work it out. But for now, let's be happy with what we got here. <laughs> All right, and I should be able to see my little dude moving around. Let's have a look. Ah. Come on, let me move. I can't move. Oh, there he is, isn't he cute? Yeah, I can't move while the program's running. That's weird. Or I am seem to be stuck. There we go. It's because I got my remote on. Let's try that again. Yeah, I can't move when the remote's on. Interesting. Ah, there he is. There he goes. Look at that. Oh, look, Pac-Man. <laughs> All right, guys, with this wonderful success, I'll call it there. I'll put this up so you guys can see. And we'll see you next time <laughs> when all the Telfer troops go through the maze of doom. All right. Until then, guys, bye!